college as well as will be uh, helping you learn more and more skills more and more techniques which you can possess to clear your interviews so we will be having different sessions till 21st of may and 22nd we are going to have a grand placement drive wherein a lot of companies will be coming in and which will be uh, having a placement drive for you all students so i look forward that you all will be attending the sessions under this training program which are scheduled till 21st okay so uh, to start with uh, today the session what we are going to see which we are going to have is broadly going to have three aspects under it one is i will be discussing about what are the important skills which you should possess to clear your interview secondly i will be sharing a few important tips with you all which will help you clear your interview and i will also be discussing about some few uh, most commonly asked questions uh, which are asked into interviews and i will be giving you all answers for it how you are supposed to answer it from a fresher's point of view because we all know that maximum of the students from py bms and bapi and mcom have been freshers have not got an opportunity to work into an organization as of now so how are you going to appear for an interview how are you going to answer those questions is what also we are going to see in the session so to begin with i will be sharing my screen just give me a moment girls just let me know if you all can uh, see the slides is the screen visible to you all girls yes 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 ma'am visible i hope i'm properly audible to all of you all yes ma'am yes ma'am okay okay so as i said the main topic what we are going to cover today for the session is going to talk about what are the different skills which you should possess to crack your interview okay so to start with the session i just want someone to uh, please tell me uh, what do you know or else what do you understand from the word skills can anyone please come forward and tell me what are skills a uh, skill means your talent all the thing which uh, in talent okay. in which you are uh, okay. specialized or in which you are good in that field okay very good anyone else man skill is a knowledge uh, skill is a knowledge behavior or a uh, habit good habit of the person very good very good so when we talk about skills the basic thing what we understand from the word skills is you are able to do something okay so when you are able to do something you consider that ability as your skills so it can also be known as an art which you possess or else you are expertise into certain area or else you are talent into a certain field so let's see what exactly do we understand from skills so as you can see here skills are basically the abilities to do something that comes from training experience or practice so skills are absorbed skills are imbibed into a person which are coming through a practice which can come through an experience or else through training okay so the ability to do something can also be learned from your life and your experiences what you have been facing or else what you have experienced in your past so it is basically an art which helps you to come up with various types of talents which you possess for your life time so skills are acquired as i already said they can be acquired through practice and organized behavior so as you all know what are skills we are going to see a few important skills which you need which are very important for you to clear your interview for you to crack your interview so to start with there are these few skills which we are going to discuss about so there are a lot of skills like we have communication skills we have problem solving skills we have technical skills multitasking skills and many more so to start with we are going to start with the very first 
skill which you also possess and which will always be beneficial for you to clear your interview is going to be your communication skills so what are communication skills we all know what is communication communication is what basically transferring of information from one person to another so communication is considered as a key to achieve success now when we are trying to have more and more better communication the only point behind it is to create a good impression on the other person so that is the reason we try to communicate well so that is the reason we try how to how to communicate with others so we are basically trying to create an impression on the others that is why communication is very important so when i talk about communication it is not only about your writing skills but also it consists of your verbal skills no verbal forms whatever communication you are going to do about like whatever communication you are talking about you shouldn't only be good in written communication but you should also be a very good person with verbal communication okay so basically when we talk about communication skills to crack an interview the basic point behind it is that when you have good base good communication skills with you it helps you to create good relationship with others and it creates to have a good working condition with good relationships which you can come in contact with so whichever people you can come in contact with you can have good communication skills so the very first skill which you need to crack and interview are your communication skills the way you speak the way you communicate is very important from an interview's point of view after communication skills the second important skill which you need to crack your interview is your leadership skills now everyone cannot be a leader so leader is basically a person who can who a person can i can see be a good leader only when he can easily hold a good position so as we all know that when we talk about a class representative a person whom we appoint as a class representative is a person who can manage things well that is the reason we have to see a certain capability into a person and we understand that a person can hold a certain position can handle things well can execute things well and on basis of that we hire people we hire a we select a cr for your class so when we talk about an organization the interviewer always wants to have people who are going to be very very good in the position what they hold and there are no specific any sort of uh, like you know any sort of set of skills which are required so any person who can manage time who can manage resources who can manage people into an organization into a very effective manner in a very efficient manner can be considered as a good leader so if you want to be a very good if you want to crack your interview you should possess leadership skills which will help the interviewer to understand how easily you can how easily you can handle a group of people and take them ahead by playing a role of a leader so the second important skill which you need to crack an interview is your leadership skills the third type of skill what we are going to discuss about are your listening skills now when we talk about listening skills listening is the ability is basically the ability to accurately receive and interpret message so how you are interpret your messages how you are trying to understand a certain message all this is dependent on your listening ability so listening is considered as a key to all effective communication so the aim of the listening skill is to master is to know that what a person is trying to say and you are understanding it in a proper or else we can say a correct way 
so listening cannot be just hearing listening is being more and more attentive to what all a person is saying paying attention towards the person what he or she is saying what questions that person is asking what information that person is sharing with you when we talk about listening it is not just hearing but it is being attentive it is being more attentive and paying attention to what the other person or is the person sitting next to you is saying so it can not only be in terms of paying attention but it can also be analyzed by use of language and the voice which the interview also use to share the information with you so it is extremely important that listening skills should be an integral part should be a very important part of your skills which you should possess a good job or is to crack a interview in a more better and an efficient man after listening skill comes which what after listening skill comes problem solving skills now what are problem solving skills now when we talk about our day to day life we all face a problem we all try uh, we all face a certain problem may it be to or uh, may it be related to as just now we would have seen we should we must have seen that there were some problem from there were some technical issues so there was a problem which we tried to sort out so in everyday life also we have a lot of problems we face a lot of problems so every person possesses this problem solving skill may it be me may it be you amongst anyone amongst you we all possess this problem solving skills but when we are appearing for an interview the person sitting next to you the person sitting opposite to you the interviewer should also feel that you are very efficient you are very intelligent in solving your problems so that is how you are going to create an impact or else and good impression on the interviewer so there might be a situation where if the interviewer asks you or uh, he is giving you a certain situation and the interviewer is trying to understand how capable you are to solve that problem so he may share some situation with you which has some a uh, complex problem attached to it and he may feel that you should come up with a certain situation not necessary that you will always solve problem or get solution in one go not a problem so when you ever you are appearing for an interview and interviewer is asking you for a Uh, for a uh, he is sharing a situation with you and asking you to uh, solve the problem asking you your inputs your thoughts on solving that problem please make sure that you are very calm you think properly and then you speak it is not necessary that you will always have a correct answer even if in case you are giving a answer which you feel that you are not satisfied with what you are saying be patient okay so be patient and it is it is for sure that failure has to be there so it is from the failure where we are going to learn so no problem if you are unable to solve a problem or is unable to come up with a solution be in so in or in case trying to check your skills which are related to problem solving plus he is also how patient are you how much patience do you have so after this problem the next skills which you should possess are team work skills now we all know that you all might have also studied into organizational behavior people work in teams so team is basically a group of people who come together and work for an achievement certain goal so when we are talking about team work skills never ever be afraid to collaborate with others now group interviews like we can say uh, there can be a uh, team interviews which can be taken in form of group discussions where in the interviewer may think of assessing may think of identifying observing your team work skills may he may try to assess he may try to understand how cooperative are you how are you talking to others how are you trying to put up your in front of others how convincing are you in front of others 
the way you are coordinating with others so all these things are observed by an interviewer so if in case for an interview and there is other than a personal interview if in case they ask you to go there is a group discussion always make sure that you are collaborating with each other in a very very smart way and as we all know when we talk about collaborating with others when we talk about teamwork we all know that it is a two way process now when i talk about a teamwork it is a process where i am also getting to learn from someone that as some people are also getting to learn something from me so it is a two way process so team work skills are also very important because you go in any of the organization you are always going to work in teams so the interviewer tries to access tries to observe all these skills in you how well are you coordinating how well are you or uh, a uh, cooperating with each other coordinating with each other how are you trying to keep your form so team work skills are also one of the important skills which are necessary for cracking an interview other than team work skills comes openness now when we talk about interviews when we talk about candidates we should we always know that whenever we are talking about uh, sharing of knowledge whenever you are going for an interview you should always make sure that you are ready to learn new things and you are ready to grow with that new things so when we are talking about openness to learning it is basically trying to understand that you are ready to learn new things and explore new opportunities which are creating a different or as we can say a distinct impression of yours on the interview so if you want to succeed in your life you should always make sure that you are always keeping yourself open to learn more and more new things now whatever you are learning whatever you are adapting to is always going to be beneficial for you in your coming future so whenever you are getting an opportunity to learn something all or new things so it creates a very good impression about yours on the interview okay so this word openness to learning skills after openness to learning skills comes technical skills now what are technical skills when we talk about technical skills we all know that that now in the current pandemic situation everything is being handled on the basis of technology students school going kids attending lectures online giving exams online college going students giving exams online attending lectures online people working from home online people appearing for interview also online so almost all the things into our life in this current situation if you see has become online there in we just need to sit at our own place and through online through the help of technology we are trying to connect with other people with the people on the other end. so technical skills are very 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 important in this situation as well as in the coming future there are a lot many organizations after this covid situation wherein maximum of the work is done online there are many multinational corporations which are saying that after 5 years or less after 7 years they are going to have their work they are going to have their working style which is going to be online where in the company is only going to adopt online working mode so that is how technically sound being technically skillful is going to create an impact on the interview so when we talk about technical skills it is very very essential for you to possess technical skills or at least certain technical knowledge so you need to be on the top of your digital environment having good technical knowledge can help separate you from the other competitors so if you are technically more sound you are technically more smart the interviewer will be selecting you over the other person who is not technic technically so may very savvy so it is very very important for you to impart technical skills to survive into the market 
so nowadays if you are going for an interview you always need to remember being technically sound being technically smart having technical knowledge is very very important for you to get a good job so after technical skills comes planning or organizing skills we all do a certain type of a planning in our lives right may it be getting up early in the morning may it be going to college may be going to shopping may be going to uh, some bank for some bank work everything what we do in our life we plan it out that yeah maybe coming to college i will be getting up by so and so time i will be uh, taking boarding a train at so and so time i will reach to college by this particular time so whatever things we do in our life we do planning for it so when you are talking about planning and organizing skills it might be a possibility that the interviewer gives you a certain situation and asks you to organize asks you to plan something out of that situation your the interviewer is basically trying to understand your planning skills how well are you planning your time how well are you planning your resources how easily how smoothly are you executing your plans so that is how if you are doing it in a more and more efficient manner the competitors of yours who are going to be there for the interviewer the interviewer will think of selecting you over there because it shows that in a particular situation you were the one who had done the best type of planning so planning skills organizing skills also makes you stand apart from the crowd so planning and organizing skills should also be uh, should also be possessed by you if you are planning to clear an interview it will always help you even if in case you are not getting to do certain thing in uh, in the interview in the interview but it may be possible that you would be able to uh, explore this opportunity of planning in the coming future in the near future when you start working with the organization so planning and organizing skills are also very essential for you to crack an interview so you need to be a good planner you need to be a good organizer okay after planning and organizing comes multitasking skills now when we talk about multitasking skills every employer every interviewer expects to the higher candidates who can do two or more works together so it is not specifically i will hire every individual for every individual work every set single work no i always wish being an interviewer to hire people who are going to be multitasking who can handle two or three things together maybe a person who handles say suppose a person into marketing so a person who looks after uh, ad sales a person who looks after a uh, customer relationship management uh, with the customers whom he is selling goods and services and a person and the same person to work to help the admin department of the organization so when you are going to be more skillful you can easily have two or three skills together which you can which you can help creating an impact on the organization's growth so that is how the interviewer looks for multitasking skills means he always thinks of hiring people those who can do those who can manage doing two or three things together and it always it is always important to remember that the more you are multitasking your work will be more or it will increase so your work will increase and it will also be more as compared to the other candidates which are other people those who are working along with you so the interviewer may try to judge you on these skills of having how multitasking are you so multitasking skills are one of the most important professional skills which are considered by an interviewer during your interview so these were a few important skills which you need to crack at interview you have any questions regarding this girls no ma'am do you have any doubts which you need, you want me to give some examples here no ma'am am i audible no, ma yes ma'am okay so uh, you have any doubts you have any concerns into this please feel 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 free to ask me
No one has any doubts? No ma'am. No ma'am. No ma'am. Okay, so I hope that these are the most important skills which you should all possess, you which you should all have, which you, you which you should all impart in yourselves to crack your interview in a more effective manner. Okay, so after the skills, as I said, the second thing what I will be discussing about you is going to be about some uh, is about some important tips for clearing your interview. But before that, I would like to tell you all that whenever you are going for an interview, the most important point which you need to consider is punctuality. Wherever you are going for an interview, being present on time plays a very important role. May it be an, in, an interview which is going to be online or else it is going to be an offline interview. Always make sure that you are adhering to the timings which are mentioned by the organization or is the interviewer. So having proper time management is very, very essential. Here, if you could see, I have mentioned that if you are going for an offline interview, you are going to give an interview, it allows prep time and familiarization with the workplace. So it is basically that when you reach before time, at least it helps you to get familiarized with the organization and which helps you to get a certain confidence and you are able to relax for 10 to 15 minutes of time. So that is how you should always make sure that whenever you are appearing for an interview, you need to remember that time is very important. What time are you called? What time are you supposed to reach to a place or else to be present on an online uh, platform to give your interview. So the most important thing which every person giving an interview should keep in mind is being punctual to be present on time. So don't reach when you are going for an offline interview. Don't reach too early and don't be too late. Reaching 10 minutes early can be good. So at times try that you are not reaching too early to the workplace where you are going for an interview or else you are not even too late but at least try to reach 10 minutes earlier so that it helps you prepare, it helps giving you a little preparation time and calm you down. So this is what one of the most important aspects which you all should remember while appearing for an interview. Then comes, as I said, the second part what I was going to discuss with you all, that is what are the important tips which you need to clear your interview. So there are a few tips which are very necessary when you are appearing for an interview, you need to remember a few things. What are those things that can be from a tips which I have been sharing here. The first one is research the company. Now what is research the company? Wherever you are going for an interview, wherever, whatever organization you are going for an interview, try to have details, try to search for the information about that company. Maybe what is the mission statement, what is the vision statement, where is it what are its recent milestones, or as I can say, what are they, or who are their key personals. So these are all the factors which you should consider before going for an interview. Try to understand, try to gather a little information about the company, about the organization where you are going to go for an interview. Second one is analyze job description. Now what is analyze job description? Whatever is the job description given. So you should always keep an eye on the key focus areas of the role you have applied for. So whatever job post you have applied for, try to understand the requirements of the company, read the job description properly, and then only apply for the job. So reading the job description, understanding the job description, analyzing the job description is the second important tip which you should follow to clear your interview. Third one is brush up basics. Now when I'm talking about brushing up your basics, it is most, uh, most common for students who are going to be freshers, who are not having any experience, who are not having any work experience into the environment, into the business environment. So brushing up your basics means try to understand, try to 
clear your doubts for yourselves try to understand the fundamental subject fundamentals what specialization you have done into like for example if a student from uh, bafi is going for an interview you need to know what is insurance you know need to know what is accounting you need to know all the concepts which falls under insurance if you are going for an interview in an insurance company so it is on the basic of your knowledge that the company is going to hire you is going to decide whether they are going to select you or not because as you are a fresher you don't have work experience so on the basis of your knowledge they might hire you so brush your basic brush up your basics is the third important point or is the third important tip which you should follow to clear your interview fourth one is prepare for tests now when i'm talking about tests most of the companies most of the organizations uh, where in uh, they that is customer service related job opportunity they are always trying to stress more upon only one factor of yours and that is your communication skills so communication skills as i said or not only verbal skills are important but even written communication skills are very important so when we are talking about preparing for tests many organizations which have voice processes which are into customer services always want their candidates always want their employees to all to like you know give a certain type of written test so make sure that you are preparing yourself for a test maybe i should uh, some incidents past incidents of your life in you have to write it uh, in form of an essay so all these things are uh, all these things are basically decided by the organization where in they try to test your skills where in they try to test your communication skills so please be prepared for such types of tests if you are going for an interview so that when you reach on the spot and you get to know that you have to appear for a test it might create a nervousness amongst you so no problem please be prepared for tests be ready that there might be a situation there might be an organization which asks you to give a written or is an oral test so that is also the fourth important tip which you need to follow for clearing your interview the next one is be attentive as i always say that listening be a good listener listen to what exactly the person is saying what the interviewer is saying so be attentive listen carefully and pay attention to all the questions which the interviewer is asking and be a good and a attentive listener as i said understand what question he is asking and then only give your answer so please be attentive towards the questions and doubts what the interviewer is asking then comes speak clearly whatever you are going to speak make sure there is clarity of speech so that when you are clearly speaking it projects your confidence and clarity of your thought so your thought process is clear in front of the interviewer plus the person sees that yes this person is confident enough this candidate is confident enough to give an answer so whatever answers you are going to give speak clearly don't mumble at all during your interview the next tip which you need to follow is make eye contact when you are talking to anyone in front of you always make sure that you are having an eye contact with you there are people those who go for interview and when the interviewer asks them a certain questions they look at the wall and answer they look down and answer they look at the clock and answer please don't do that whenever an interview is asking you something have an eye contact with the person and give your answer see if you are not looking if you are not having an eye contact it says that you are lacking confidence into you so it is not going to create a very good impact of yours a very good impression of yours on the interviewer so always make sure that you are having a good eye con you are having eye contact with the interviewer the next step which you need to follow is maintain good body language good body language is basically whenever you are going for an interview sit up properly sit properly don't uh, don't just uh, you know uh, just lay down your shoulders no you should always make sure that you are going to sit straight 
and always going to keep a smile on your face you should not keep a very big smile but a small smile simple smile you should carry on your face and you should always sit properly you should always sit up straight now there is one study which has shown that almost 33% of the employers okay 33% of the organizations reject the employees reject the candidates within the first 30, 90 seconds means within the first one and a half minute when you are having an interview looking at the posture what you carry looking at the way you speak the looking at the way you sit the looking at the way you carry yourself 33% employers reject in the first 90 seconds of the interview the employees means they say that we are not going to hire these inter this uh, employees we are not going to hire these candidates cause they are not having good posture they are not carrying a good posture the way they sit the way they talk the way they carry themselves is not very impressive so as per the study it says that 33% of the candidates are rejected by the employers in the first 90 seconds so having a good body language is very very important for you to clear your interview then comes your asking right questions now whenever at times the interviewer gives you an opportunity he asks you your doubts so say suppose the interview goes on a, uh, in a very well manner and he may ask you that do you have any doubts you want to clarify something then ever the interviewer is giving you a chance to speak up to share, uh, to ask questions don't hesitate if you really have some concerns please feel free to ask but make sure that whatever questions you are asking are relevant questions and are only related to your job specification and only related to the department where you are going to work under so make sure that whatever questions you are going to ask you are maintaining a clarity of speech into it ask only the relevant questions to the interview the last step is show gratitude so when i am talking about sh showing gratitude however your interview goes may it be it is going on in a very smooth way may it be it doesn't go on very well not a problem but take a moment and thank the interviewer see that for mai sabki voice bahut slow aa rahi hai abhi theek se aa rahi hai yes ma'am now am, now am i audible yes ma'am okay so when we are talking about uh, showing gratitude always make sure that you thank that you thank the interviewer for his time and for his consideration see whether your interview has been good or bad you know it better but having or showing gratitude in the end will always create uh, like a, a positive behavior of yours a pol polite behavior of yours will always create a good impression on the interview so always show gratitude towards the interview so these were a few important tips which you need to remember to clear your interview okay so after this we are going to discuss which are the most that is the third aspect of our session for the day which is very going i'm i'm which is where i'm going to talk about which are the most commonly asked questions in an interview okay so when i'm talking about most commonly asked questions in an interview we are also going to discuss the answers what you are going to give and that is also a fresher's point of view okay so to start with the very first question the very first most commonly asked question which you get which is asked to the interviewees by the interviewer is tell me about yourself so when you when the interviewer asks you that tell me about yourself you need to mention your name start with your name give your place information your education in short if you have any job experience you can give that details and your family details in short so for example i have mentioned here that say suppose shilpa is appearing for an interview shilpa would say that my name is shilpa bandi i live at malad in mumbai i have done bms in marketing and finance from snit university which talks about my education i have 2 years of experience in marketing if she is an experienced person 
or else I am a fresher. If she is a fresher, and I have father, mother, and one sibling in my family. So this is how you need to give your introduction. You need to talk about yourself in front of the interview. So these are a few points which are very important, which you should remember when you are talking to the interviewer, when you are appearing for an interview. Or how are you going to speak about yourself? The second most important question is, what are your strengths? So the interviewer may ask you, what are your strengths? So always make sure that these are a few pointers. You say that you are adaptable to change. You are hardworking. You are an honest uh, candidate. You are flexible in working. Then you are having a very optimistic approach towards work. You can quickly make decisions and you are self-motivated. So these are a few points which you can consider in saying when an interviewer asks you about your strengths. Example I've given here is you can say that I'm an honest, self-motivated and a hardworking girl with positive attitude towards my career and my life. So this is how you can answer your question. The third important question after strengths comes, what are your weaknesses? So when we talk about weaknesses, always make sure that whatever weaknesses you are saying are not going to be very much impact on the organization so see the weaknesses which are like you are a little straightforward you are sensitive you talk you are more talkative like you talk you like to talk much or else you trust people very quickly or else you can't say no when someone asks for help wisely answer your questions basically so take decisions very quickly at times I get nervous when I talk to strangers possible now so these are all, I, to speak lie is difficult for me. I'm a bit la lazy about which I'm not interested. So these are a few pointers which you can consider as your weaknesses, which you can tell the interviewer. So if an interviewer asks you about your weaknesses, these are the points which you can share with them. So example, you can say that I can't say no to someone uh, who asks me for help and I'm a bit lazy about which I about the work which I am not interested in. So it is not going to create an impact, a very negative impact about you on the interviewer. So it is somewhere which is manageable. Okay, no problem. Means it can be managed. It can be handled. So that is how you should always make sure that when you are talking about your weaknesses, you shouldn't always talk much, much, much negative about yourself. You should talk about the points which are okay, fine which can be considerable from the organization's point of view. The fourth main question, the next important question, the interviewer may ask a fresher. Being a fresher, as maximum of the students here are going to be fresher, they may ask you that what are, do you wish to pursue higher education? So do you wish to go for some higher education in the future? So if your answer is yes, be wise, say yes. And if you are not sure for yourself, say maybe or this may not be, whatever is your answer. But whatever is the answer, make sure you're wisely telling it to the interviewer. May, may, may it be yes, may it be no, may it be maybe, I don't know. So make sure that you are giving your answer in a more better way. So always be wise in saying so. For example, like say, suppose if you are uh, saying that I wish to work first and then go for uh, some further studies for some uh, higher education. So you may say that I am interested in higher studies. I'm so sorry, just give me a moment. You may say that I am interested in higher studies, but not immediately. So I wish to get started working. And then look for some higher education opportunities based on my experience, what I get, and the career progressions, what I do into my career. So on the basis of my career progressions and my experience, I may for the education. I may go for pursue. I may pursue my higher education. So this is the again most commonly asked question to the freshers. The next most commonly asked question to the freshers is. Where do you see yourself in next three to five years? So when a person, when an interviewer asks 
see you that where you see yourself in the next three to five years always show as if you are an ambitious person you have ambition you are an ambitious type of a person always make sure that you uh, impart uh, that you uh, show that you uh, are trying to tell the interviewer that you are a very ambitious type of a person align your goals with the company's goals be creative while you are answering when you see yourself in the next 3 to 5 years be creative but whatever creatively you are answering make sure that they sound realistic they should be realistic so make sure that whatever you are saying whatever you are speaking are going to sound real in nature then you have to make sure that you show your passion towards the path of ahead of you so how will you answer this question you will say that it is although it is hard to predict the future i see myself as a valued employee of a company and i sincerely believe that i will become a very good manager or it's whatever is the next position which you have been applied for and i believe that my abilities will allow me to excel to the point so this is the common uh, this is the answer which you can give being a fresher always try to tell them that you are going to be goal oriented in the future you are having a very uh, ambitious you are having a very a good uh, thought process for your future for your career in the future so always show that you are very very ambitious towards your future so that is how it will create a good impression of yours on the interview after seeing this question the next most commonly asked question is why should we hire you so when we talk about why should we hire you you can share your knowledge you can share your experiences work experiences then you may also share the skills which you have which you possess which are required for executing that job and you can also share about your career goals so when a person asks you that why should we hire you there again can be two possibilities you being a fresher and you being an experienced person so when you are a fresher you might say that see so sir i as i am a fresher i have theoretical knowledge which is true in your matter that you all have not got any work experience but you have the theoretical knowledge but i can do hard work for my organization whatever knowledge whatever theoretical knowledge i possess i will make sure i will put all my efforts for the progress of the company with that theoretical knowledge as it will help me understand how the things are working in practical world so it will always create a good impression of yours you can see that you being punctual and sincere i can finish my work on time and i can try my best to fulfill the needs of the company from me so this is how you can create a positive impression of yours towards the organization the interviewer may feel that yes she is looking after the answers what she is giving is she is talking about the she is talking about the fu her future association with the organization and how is she going to help the organization achieve their goals so this is how you could answer this question as a fresher if you are an experienced person you might see that with reference to my work experience i satisfy all the requirement for this job and i am sincere with my work then you will not let uh, the company down in any way and you will promise that you will never regret the decision of appointing me as the best employee as the most uh, as the employee who has the highest potential so this is how you could answer the same question if you are having a certain experience after this question the again the next most commonly asked question is what do you want why do you want to work with this company so this is again a most commonly asked question so whenever an inter the interviewer asks you that why you wish to work with this company firstly tell them about what you like about the company and relate it to your long term goals 
so you can say that it is a great privilege to work with this organization or is this reputed company and when i read about your company i found that my skills are matching your requirements so that i can show i will also get an opportunity to showcase my skills and uh, which will always contribute to the growth of the company for the betterment of the company so here what happens the interviewer feel that you are also you are looking for working with a reputed company plus you are also showing your dedication in working towards the company in achieving the goals of the company so this is how you could answer this question after this the next important question is what are your career goals so when the organize when the interviewer asks you about your career goals always make sure that you talk about your short term goal as well as long term goal so being a fresher you could say that my short term goal is to get a job in a reputed company okay where i can use my skills where i can get an opportunity to use my skills and improve my career path but on a long term basis i am looking out to have a respectable position into the organization so this is how you are trying to answer the question that in the interviewer is asking you about your career goals so when you are when you are answering about your short term goal make sure that you are answering in such a way that it is creating a good impression on the interviewer so you can say it is great to work with the company and my uh, goal is to get a nice get a job in this reputed company and i will use all my skills all the opportunities which i will get to showcase my skills long term you would say that i would be or uh, looking out for a respectable position into the organization so being a fresher this is the answer which you can give to the interviewer if he asks you what are your career goals after this comes what are your salary expectations so the most important questions maybe you are a fresher or else you are an experienced person what are your salary expectations is the most important question and this is the question what the interviewee is also waiting for that when is it going to come and when is the interviewer going to ask me about the salary because that is the main factor for which you are going to work with that organization so when you are talking about the expectations the very first thing you need to remember being a fresher is you should never share your salary requirement being a fresher you should never share your salary expectation experienced candidate can share their expected salary and always say that as per the company norms of or the job now how will you answer this question say suppose you are a fresher for example so if you are a fresher you could say that i am a fresher and salary is not my first priority this is a big platform or else this is the biggest opportunity i could get to learn about more and more skills and to gain more and more knowledge and gain more and more experience so i expect the salary which is going to be considerable uh, according to be, to my abilities what i have to, the skills what i have and your company's norms obviously which will fulfill my economical needs so you should say that first thing you should say when you ask about your salary expectation being a fresher is you should say that you should you are getting an opportunity to work in the organization is the first big thing for you is the great thing for you after that whatever salary means according to the norms or is according to the abilities what i possess ab uh, according to the ability what i can uh, ab according to the skills what i possess which can help impart uh, which can help me gain more and more knowledge from the organization i am fine with whatever salary is being offered to me so that is how you would answer as a fresh but if you are answering as an experienced person you might say that you have some experience in so and so field and what what is your current cpc means how much is your current cost to company that is how much is your current annual package so say suppose it is 2.5 lakh rupees so then always say that salary is not a big issue for me and you could say that what i am expecting salary as per the company's norms and my designation and which are going to be according to my qualification looking at my qualification 
looking at my abilities looking at the designation and looking at the experience whatever the company decides i am fine with it. so this is how you should answer these important questions when they are asked to you by an interviewer or uh, we are done with the session you have any doubts you can please uh, speak you all can please share your concerns do you have any doubt you have any questions you all can please feel free to ask me ma'am there was this point ask the right question so ma'am will you please explain this point uh, which which point exactly did you say ma'am uh, there was this point ask the right hmm? question ask the right questions relevant questions yes ma'am yes when we uh, it was in the tips important tips which you should learn which you should do yes, to clear your interview so asking relevant questions is basically at times the interviewer gives you an opportunity to ask your doubts if you have any concerns okay so when the interviewer is giving you an opportunity to ask ask relevant questions which are related to your job profile which are related to the department where you are going to work so you just can't ask irrelevant questions whatever questions you are going to ask ask no problem don't hesitate to ask your questions don't hesitate to clear your doubts but make sure that you are asking relevant questions and you are asking it in a very polite manner is okay, it okay ma'am thank you yes yeah, ma'am thank you anyone else has any doubts in the common as commonly asked questions no ma'am hello ma'am hello ma'am yes yes ma'am Ma'am, actually, I have a doubt on salary expectations, in which I have done one month work as a data operator. So, ma'am, if I go to an interview tomorrow, and they will tell me about uh, salary expectations, so what should I mention? Ma'am, your voice is not audible, ma'am. Ma'am, your ma voice is not audible. Rajatta, we cannot hear you. Now, can you hear me? Yes, 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 yes ma'am. Ma ma'am. Okay, maybe because of the network issue, I have put on my camera. That is the reason you all are able to hear me properly now. Yes. So, Janvi, uh, your question, yes, as you said, uh, see, you have one month's experience. So, to be frank, it is yeah, not very much. It is not a long experience. So, if you were earning. a good amount of money for that one month you might tell the interviewer that you had an you have an experience of one month of doing whatsoever work whatever data entry job or whatever it was and you can tell them that this was the salary which i had got okay ma'am but if you feel that see at times what happens when you apply for uh, jobs there might be a possibility they share their uh, salary up friendly that this is the salary what we may offer you so say suppose the organization or is the interviewer says that we are offering you somewhere around 10 to 12000 rupees and you were earlier earning only 5 to 6000 rupees from that job it is better not to speak about it okay ma'am okay anyone else having any other doubts no ma'am okay so uh, the picture shall i share the feedback from here itself uh you can share it here prajakta but we'll also circulate uh, it in the group okay so i will share it here also just just a moment i will share it here also 